Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about insulin. So, in, in human beings, the first hormone to be extracted in pure form is insulin. The first hormone to be extracted in pure form is insulin. And this insulin is extracted by the group of scientists, that is two, two doctors, that is Banton and Best. So for this insulin structure, Banting along with John MacLeod has received the Nobel Prize. So this insulin is the first protein to complete Sanger sequencing. Sanger sequencing is completed first and foremost in the insulin. And that is the reason why the uh, Frederick Sanger has received Nobel Prize for sequencing the insulin structure and there is one more one liner it is the first protein to be produced by recombinant dna technology so first we so let us learn some important points about primary structure of proteins so in the primary structure of protein insulin it has two peptide bonds are present and in the first peptide bond is A, second peptide bond is called as B and these peptide bonds totally contain 51 amino acids and in that A chain contains 21 amino acids whereas B chain contains 30 amino acids. Total there are 51 amino acids and this insulin chain has 3 sulfide disulfide bonds. So the first disulfide bond is present between the seventh amino acid in A chain and seventh amino acid in B chain. Connecting this we have a disulfide bond. Okay. Then second disulfide bond is present on 20th amino acid in A chain and 19 amino acid in B chain, we have the other disulfide bond, which is second disulfide bond is present between 20th amino acid in A chain and 19 amino acid in B chain. These two are interchain disulfide bonds because they are present between the A and B chains. Then we also have one intrachain disulfide bond which is present between the 6th amino acid and 11th amino acid. We have intrachain disulfide bond which is present. This is intrachain disulfide bond. While during its synthesis, we have proinsulin which is synthesized which has 3 chains. A, B, C chains and it loses its C chain and it forms the mature human insulin which contains only A and B chain. So if you see the species variation of insulin, this is mainly restricted to 8th, 9th and 10th amino acid in A chain, C terminal and amino acid of B chain. Though you don't remember that, that is fine. Now this is the important structure of insulin. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.